Gram staining is the most popular technique for the identification and characterization of bacteria. After isolation of bacteria on the culture media from a sample, sometimes we need further identification of that bacteria to interpret the clinical consequences. In this situation, first of all, we need to know the morphological characteristics of that bacteria by this gram staining procedure. By this technique, we get to know the bacteria cell wall composition, bacterial shapes, structure, and arrangements. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. Thank you for being with us. Gram staining procedure involves six steps, chemical or reagent preparation, pure culture preparation, bacterial smear preparation, staining of the bacterial smear, microscope setup, result observation, and interpretation. Throughout the procedure, we need a microscope, microscopic glass slide, immersion oil, Bunsen burner, inoculating loop, and the bacteria which we want to characterize or identify. Among the chemicals we need, crystal violet solution, Gram's iodine solution, 95% ethanol, safranine solution, and sodium chloride buffer solution. Let's go for the laboratory works. Use commercially prepared Gram staining reagent set if available. Apart from this, you can also prepare all of the Gram staining reagents at your lab. Hucker's crystal violet solution is used as primary stain. For the preparation of primary stain, prepare solution A and B separately. Solution A can be prepared by dissolving 2 gram of crystal violet in 20 ml absolute ethanol. Prepare solution B by dissolving 0.8 gram ammonium oxalate in 80 ml distilled water. Now, mix solution A and solution B together and store for 24 hours. Filter the mixed reagent through coarse filter paper. For the preparation of dormant or grams iodine solution, Take 0.67 gram potassium iodide in clean mortar, add 0.33 grams iodine, and grind with a clean pestle for 20 seconds. Add one milliliter water and continue grinding for another 20 seconds. Then, add five milliliter of water and continue grinding for another 20 seconds. Then add 10 milliliter and grind. Pour this solution into reagent bottle. Rinse mortar and pestle with amount of water needed to bring total volume to 100 milliliter. For the preparation of counterstain or Hucker's Safranin O solution, dissolve 2.5 gram of Safranin O in 100 milliliter of absolute ethanol, 95%. Now, dilute 10 milliliter of the solution to 90 milliliters distilled water. For the preparation of buffer solution, dissolve 0.85 gram of sodium chloride crystal in 100 milliliters of distilled water. We need to prepare a pure culture of the bacteria, which we want to use in this gram staining technique. You can prepare a pure culture of bacteria by following our video for the streak plate method. Find the video link from description section of this video. This is a pure culture plate of bacteria, and we are going to use it in this gram staining procedure. Now we will prepare bacterial smear on a microscopic glass slide. For the preparation of bacterial smear, we need a pure culture of bacteria, buffer solution, inoculating loop, clean microscopic glass slide. and Bunsen burner. Burn the inoculating loop to red hot and cool down for two minutes. Label the glass slide with sample number.
If you don't have any specific washing station for gram staining technique, simply use a beaker for that purpose. Place the glass slide on the washing station. Take a loop full of buffer solution on the middle of the glass slide with the aid of inoculating loop. Pick the bacteria which we want to identify just by touching the loop on a single bacterial colony. Ideally, the culture should be between 18 to 24 hours old because the older cell may show variable results. Now, make the bacterial smear on the glass slide surface by mixing with the buffer solution. Distribute the cell evenly on the glass slide so that the cells are one layer thick. Spread the smear appropriately to get a good result of the gram staining technique. Keep the slide in open air for air drying of the smear. You can see that the smear is drying and the drying portion is becoming slightly white. Wait for at least two minutes for complete drying. You can see that the dried smear is completely turned into white. Fix the smear on the slide by gently passing the slide over the flame five to six times. Fixing of cells is important to prevent the cells of being washed out during the staining process. Bacterial cells can also be fixed on the glass slide using methanol. For methanol fixation, add few drops of methanol on the bacterial smear to cover the whole portion of smear and wait for two minutes. The bacterial smear is heat fixed successfully. This slide is now ready for the staining procedure. Step one of the staining procedure is done using crystal violet solution as primary staining. Distilled water is necessary for washing the excess stain from the smear. Add a few drops of primary stain on the prepared glass slide to cover the heat fixed smear completely. Wait for one minute.
After one minute of waiting, wash the slide properly, applying a gentle flow of distilled water. Primary staining is done. In the second step, we will apply the Grams iodine solution as mordant. Add few drops of mordant on the glass slide in a way that it covers the smear completely. Wait for one minute. Now, wash the slide with a gentle flow of distilled water. Second step is done. In this third step, we will decolorize the smear with 95% ethanol for a very short period of time. Add few drops of 95% ethanol and wait for 10 to 15 seconds. Immediately wash the slide with distilled water. In the final step, we will stain the bacterial smear with safranin, which works as a counter stain. Add few drops of safranin solution and wait for one minute. Wash the excess stain from the smear by rinsing with gentle flow of distilled water.
Remove the water gently from the surface of the glass slide using a soft, absorbent tissue. Care must be taken so that the smear is not disrupted. Do not use the tissue in wiping manner because this can remove the smear from the slide. Now keep the slide in the airflow for air drying of the smear. You can see that the slide is dried completely. This slide is now ready for microscopic observation. In this step, we will observe the stained bacterial cell on the glass slide under a bright field microscope. This is immersion oil, which will be used for the observation of bacteria at 100 time magnification under the microscope. Place a drop of the immersion oil on the smear. Set the microscope at 100 time magnification using 100x lens. Place and lock the glass slide on the microscope stage. Turn on the light source. Now adjust the microscope to observe the bacteria at 100 time magnification. Adjustment should be done in side by side, up and down, so that a good microscopic field can be obtained. For better viewing under microscope, adjust the microscopic field and light intensity and do fine tuning for clear visualization. In this step, we will observe several gram staining results and we will learn to interpret these results. Let's learn about the theory of result interpretation first. This is how we interpret the result based on colony color. The tested bacteria will be considered as gram positive if the colony color is purple or violet. On the other hand, Pink or red color colonies are considered as gram-negative bacteria. Result interpretation based on different shapes is showing in the display. Round, oval and spherical shaped bacteria are called coxy and rod-shaped bacteria are called rod. Different possible bacterial arrangements are given as example in the left side and the interpreted results are shown in the right side. Let's observe the original microscopic view. You can see that the bacteria in this view are purple or violet in color. Bacterial shape is rod. Some bacteria are seen in chain-like arrangement. So the interpreted result of this view is, the bacteria is gram-positive, rod-shaped and in chain arrangement.
Another type of view is given in the display. The bacterial color is violet or purple, and the shape is round or oval, and the bacterial arrangement is cluster. So we can interpret this result as, the bacteria is gram-positive, cocci-shaped, and in cluster arrangement. Let's observe another type of bacteria. we can see pink or red color colonies. Their shape is rod, but no specific arrangement is observed. So we can interpret this result as, the bacteria is gram-negative, rod-shaped, and in mixed arrangement. This is the view of another type of bacteria. Bacteria are pink in color. The bacterial shape is round or oval. The arrangement of the bacteria is cluster. So we can interpret in this way that the bacteria are gram-negative cocci-shaped and in cluster arrangement. After the result observation, remove the slide from the microscope and discard it appropriately. Clean the microscope lens to remove adhered sticky oil properly using a soft tissue paper. Use appropriate solvent with the tissue paper for better cleaning if necessary.